Hi everyone, this is a tutorial video on how to build my horizontal minecart dispenser. So to start off, uh, begin with by placing a piece of powered rail, which this will be our first uh, slot in the dispenser. Uh, next to it, place a block, and then in the opposite direction place a hill, uh, which will indicate where, which direction the cart will go. So once you got that on top of that hill, um, you put in two powered rail, put in your regular rail, which will act as the curve, and then at the end of that curve, put a detector rail, like so. Now you'll need a way of powering these uh, powered rails on top here, so you can take out these blocks here and place in a redstone torch underneath, like so. Now we can put in the RS Neural Etch, uh, start with I'll be using blue wool to indicate it, and the RS Neural Etch is an upside down L, like this. Place a redstone torch on top here, which will power the rail, as well as a redstone torch below here. Now put in your redstone dust. Uh, I'll complete this wire a little bit later, but we definitely need wire along the whole top of the RS Neural Edge. Okay, so there's one part. Now let's begin the next slot. Uh, this down here. In the same pattern, put, a, put your hill like so. Put a detector rail. Also dig this out to put a that permanent redstone torch here. And then put in another RS Norlatch. Okay, so you'll need to connect this detector rail now toward the, our last, uh, our first uh, slot. So I'd put in a little hill here. Oops. There we go. And well, one, one last thing, you'll need to need some glass. Uh, that there. And place that on top of the redstone torch that powers each of your slots. Alright, so there we go. Um, I think there's one last thing I'm missing here, actually. I'll put in a bit of redstone wire to connect, if you have any other slots um, in this direction, toward, toward uh, where I'm facing. But uh, I think that's all you need. Once you have this pattern here of one going to the right and one going to the left, you can then just copy this as many times as you want um, to however, whatever, how many slots that you need. Um, if you're doing, uh, so that's that. Uh, if you're doing uh, how to um, how to dispense the dispenser, I won't show you how to build it, but I'll show you this example here that I had in my last video. Uh, all you need to do is, for that very uh, first slot in the dispenser, the front spot, just put in, just to simply attach a redstone wire to a button, and it'll that should be enough. Uh, just be aware that uh, you'll need a detector rail after this, say, this cart leaves. You'll need a detector rail here that will power the RS Norlatch of the second to second to front slot. I, I guess you would call it so that when this cart passes over this detector rail, it'll uh, alert the, this second to front uh, cart to move to the front as well. So, oh, and when it comes to cart overflow, I have this uh, purple one. This is sort of an extra piece to the whole dispenser, but this was the one that, this is the RS Neural Edge that controls the uh, switch over here. So you'll see that the output of this RS Neural Edge is connected to this redstone torch, which controls the switch. So uh, again, the two inputs apply here. So uh, this input, uh, when the cart goes over this, this turns on the RS Neural Edge, and this one turns it off. Um, depending on which direction your uh, dispenser is facing, you'll have to fill around with the output, this this guy here, uh, depending on, because again, it's a switch, it, it really depends on which direction, and it'll orientate differently depending on which direction your uh, switch is facing. And that's about it. Um, any more questions, uh, please feel free to leave them in the comments. 
and thanks for watching.